What's going on YouTube? Tim from AT Car Breaks back with another video. Today we're going to switch things up. Instead of a card opening video, we're going to have a mail day. So I got a bunch of um, mail from different uh, either YouTubers or uh, whatnot. I uh, bought a bunch of cards on there um, and I got some uh, some teams from Topps uh, 22 uh, Series 1. And I opened my own hobby box. Unfortunately, my video cut out in the middle of the video uh, recording it, so I just decided to not upload it. But I will show you the the highlights and two of the two of the nice cards that you see in the back are um, part of that reveal. So um, yeah, we'll just we'll get right into it. Um, make sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like the videos, guys, and. Um, Make sure to comment at the end of the video whether or not you think my whatnot lot was worth it or not. So, um, yeah, so let's let's get into it. So I opened my own box of uh, Jumbo 2022 uh, Top Series 1. I got it for a very cheap price. I had a discount code uh, from one of my online suppliers. Uh, box cost under $100 for the Jumbo. So I thought it was worth it. Um, I'm going to barely touch on, uh, this card right here. This is the, uh, this is Wander's rookie card. Um, nice card and everything. Um, you know, he's like the, the big chaser for series one. However, as most of you already know by now, uh, the print run for the series one is just astronomical. So unfortunately, you know, um, there's probably... I don't know. I th I think some of the math is like 120,000 copies of each individual base card. So it's not really super rare. Um, I know there's already, a, I think, two PSA 10s. One of them sold for like over $1,000 and the other one sold for like 700 or something. So it is what it is. Um, I went through um, and just pretty much grabbed like the, I guess you could say like the, the bigger hits out of it. Um, it's top series one. It's just, you know, the, the base product. But I did get a gold. Um, I got a Clint Frazier, 23 of, uh, 2022 the Yankees PC. That's, that's not bad right there. I got one of the home run derby challenges for Bryce Harper. I guess you scratch it off and you can win a parallel of this card. If you guess the game that he hits a home run in, uh, I did get one rookie, uh, I got the, the gold rainbow, of Luke Williams for the Phillies. I guess these are pretty hard to come by as well for, uh, for rookies, especially, my patch card, nice Jose Abreu game used memorabilia with the little pinstripe there to $199. I did like this, the manufactured patch, um, Phoenix Pride for Marte. This is numbered out of $299, the city flag patch card. It's a, no, not game worn, it's just like a little manufactured patch. It's pretty cool. And then my auto uh, was disappointing, <laughs> Jackson Reitz for the Nationals. It is on card. Um for the 87 design um but you know you were hoping for a better auto I've, I've seen i've seen some pretty good autos come out so i was hoping for something better but uh at the end of the video uh which i end up not posting obviously um i was i was disappointed i was like oh man and then i realized i had two silver packs left and one of them had this lovely mike trout blue number two uh it's 13 of 150 so yeah, I was I was happy I got that, and um, overall I was uh, you know decently pleased. I got I think like almost the whole set uh, in in one jumbo box. So yeah, I was excited about it. Um, then I got into a break with um, East Coast Breakers. They're a uh, YouTube uh, or they're a uh, eBay and uh, Facebook group. Uh, they're one of my main people I go through breaks with. Um, among others, but um, I had the Phillies, I had the Astros, the Pirates, uh, I think like one more team, but um, I, I pretty much picked out like the, the biggest cards I pulled from uh, a dual case break, which I, I did not do that well at all, as you guys know right now, but the prices were cheap on, on these teams, you know, pretty much if you're not getting the Rays, then more like maybe the Red Sox or the Yankees simply because of the... Uh, um, their autograph possibility checklist then no not nothing too crazy but i did get this uh this is this is pretty cool so this is a steve carlton um he's like the what is it uh diamond greats 
and normally it's like silver here this is blue this is one of the uh one of the shorter print colors uh it is not numbered but um i thought that was i thought that was pretty nice and then i did get a uh, a gold uh rainbow of uh guriel brentley and guerrero jr um so some good names there uh bryce harper this is a uh, short print this is just the um the, just just the sp short print not the super short print or anything like that nice bryce harper there uh i got matt verling rookie uh this is the advanced stat of 300 gives you some advanced stats on the back and it's number to 300 so that's a nice short print and then i got the gold foil as well for him so maybe he's gonna be good i mean he was drafted in the fifth round back in 2018 so i don't know um we got a rodolfo castro for the pirates this is horribly off-centered but gold foil there. And then we did get a Bryce Harper game used bat there. Uh, we got a Key Brian Hayes uh, city flag patch card, which is pretty cool. And a Rodolfo Castro autograph. I only got one auto out of all those teams. And this is to $199. So, yeah. So, that's that's it for, uh, for those. I was pretty happy with all that. But, so, getting into whatnot. So, I want you guys' opinion. I, um... What I did was I think I spent a total of $246 on all of these cards I'm about to show you. Um, on whatnot, I went on to, uh, I was bored at work one night and just went on the stream, found a, a, a decent breaker that had a bunch of different sports going on, uh, team lots, singles, graded cards, everything, autographs, rookies. So I was like, ah, you know, might, might as well give them a shot. And uh, I ended up staying on the stream for like an hour buying a, way too many cards but um let me know what you guys think about value wise mind you again i spent 250 dollars, so let me know if you think my investment was worth it so they did have a little soccer lot i'm a big soccer fan so i just i, I scoffed it up um nothing super crazy here noble silver fabinho uh green uh long staff curtis jones rookie a uh, kubo mosaic green and a uh Trigueris, um mosaic nothing super crazy there from soccer uh, and then they had two ufc a couple ufc cards i had this uh francis naganu silver um i don't know if this guy is you know super good don't mind the price tags none of these price tags are right so um yeah and then i got a flux amanda nunez featherweight silver from uh, chronicles so yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> just picked these up. They were they they were cheap. Like I said, I got all of these cards for cheap. Uh, moving on to baseball, they didn't have too much baseball. I was interested, but I did get some some really nice cards. So uh, this was just a, a Chrome first Bowman lot. So um, none of the super big names. Alexander Ramirez isn't too bad. Uh, Yulbert Sanchez, Mojo, uh, Mika Bell. Gilbert again, Severino, Johnson, and uh, Alcantara for the Yankees, which was uh, nice. So I got I got that little lot of her baseball, and then I got this nice printing plate here, um, which they they even said on the stream this is like the most used printing plate they've ever seen, and I would agree with them. You can't even see what the the actual picture was, um, but it is a Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals printing plate from 2021 Top Series Two. So that was pretty cool. And then this was this is a really nice patch. Um Mike Mustakis from uh Spectra Max Impact. That's the little MLB players logo. And what's cool about it is that it's numbered to three of eight. It's also game worn, which I thought was awesome. And uh stole that card. So that was that was really nice. Uh, I'll take a game worn player's patch card anytime and then i got one graded card um this was a gavin lux gold refractor from 2020 allen Gro uh, allen and ginter chrome uh got a mint nine and on the back it is numbered 44 of 50 so yeah i was um that was it for baseball uh, i thought i did you know fairly well for baseball it was it was fun to uh get all those cards and then uh yeah, we'll, we'll move on to basketball now. Uh, basketball is kind of all over the place. I got a, got a bunch of basketball. So these are just some uh, veterans that I got. A lot of these are just in lots, guys. So 
you know, David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, and a Mark Aguirre sticker, Fleer card, whatever. And then this is a, a giant stack of 2020 rookies. Um, quickly, you got Theo Maladin, Tyrese Maxey, red, white, and blue. Precious, Prism, you got a Tyrese Halliburton, and a Denny from Draft Picks. And then a huge stack here of just pretty much put these in kind of like the set order, but some Donner's rated rookies, great expectations, some hoops, lots of Carson Edwards, the winter, uh, Terrence Mann, optic, got on uh, Bruno Fernando, red from certified, some Ignis. Roby, uh, Grant Williams, R.J. Barrett, Washington, and Akpala, Taco Fall from Mosaic. So that's 2019. 2018, a couple of them. Uh, Bates Diop, Gary Trent Jr. from Donruss. Nothing too <laughs> crazy there either. 2017, I got our Frank Jackson and Tyler Lydon, two of the uh, not-so-big names in that draft class. Rondale Hollis Jefferson, this is from 1516, yeah, 1516 Emergent Prism. And then these top loaded ones are all from 2019. So we got RJ Barrett, Bull Bull, Taco, Jackson Hayes, Optic Blue Velocity, that's not a bad card there. RJ Barrett, and then a Rui All Americans uh, Purple Draft Picks. So yeah, those are. Um, those are the basketball, like, not-so-big highlight cards, I guess you could say. But then I did get a couple autographs and uh, some graded cards. So um, this is a Tyler Zeller, prestigious picks, uh, rookie auto, uh, not numbered. And then a Danny Granger, trophy collection auto uh, there from 2019 Illusions. And then I got... Stack of graded cards, and uh, the, the last one is by far the best. Uh, I put these in kind of order from, from worst to, to best. So this is, this is a TJ Warren Orange Ice. Got a 10. Dewan Hernandez, draft picks 9, silver. Monsieur Little, he's not too bad. Pink Pulsar, got a 9. Rui from Luminance, nice card. PSA 10, rookie. They got a Colin Sexton. From 2018, got a 9. Uh, PJ Washington, Crusade, Pink Pulse are not bad. PSA 10. Uh, we did get this nice Mo Bamba Dazzle from Threads. Nice card. This, this got a 10, which I was happy to get. A uh, DeAndre Hunter, Optic Hollow 9. I was pretty happy with that. And then this last one. I'm going to cover up the uh, the grade, but this is a Jason Tatum 2017 Hoops rookie, and um, you guys, it, it, got a, it was a 10. Uh, I mean, I obviously picked it up. Now, mind you, this, this is, we still have football, and this is, I paid 245 250 total. So, I mean, so far, I mean, I would say that Jason Tatum's, you know, a decent card in a PSA 10. It's not a $200 card, but. It's up there. All right, now moving on to football. This is uh, the last sport going here. We have just a stack of rookies here. I'll just kind of go through them. Um, a lot of these were, you know, like I said before, lots that I just kind of bought into. Um, the the better ones are at the bottom. This was this wasn't a bad one. A Devonte Parker from Finest die cut refractor. There's a Tua Jalen Hurts Tua uh, Aqua Green. From Luminance Draft Pick or uh, Chronicles, Jerry Judy, Noah Font, and a couple of Jamar Chases in here. Jalen Waddle, more Jamar. Tyler Lockett from Score. Elijah Moore from Classics. That's the uh, silver. Oh, Le'Veon Bell from Strata. Josh Jacobs from Illusions. Uh, you got three Jordan Love Selects. I have enough. I have a million of those. Uh, so Gabriel Davis, Jonathan Taylor. And then uh, some some of the better ones coming up. You got a Jamar Chase, Red, White, and Blue Crusade. Jamar Chase Playbook. Uh, Jamichael Hasty Green. 
Um, A.J. Dillon, Jonathan Taylor, Clyde edwards Hilaire, and a nice uh, Trevor Lawrence. And then this is where it kind of gets a little fun. So these are a nice stack here of the better better rookies I, I thought of. So this is a Chase Claypool field-level die-cut orange. Not $5. Um, nice Clyde edwards Elair purple concourse die-cut. Uh, AJ Green, this guy's a beast. Um, this is the uh, short print, like photo negative one from Optic. A Ryan Tannehill rookie from 2012. Tops. And then a nice Justin Jefferson blue rated rookie that's going to go in the PC. So I uh, got two numbered cards. A Matthew Stafford to 225. That's from Score. And a Christian McCaffrey. From National Treasures Collegiate out of 99. I got two autographs. Uh, first one was a Jalen Waddle from Leaf Ultimate Draft to 50. And this one I was excited about. It is a rookie from Immaculate Collegiate. It's a patch auto of rookie patch auto from Immaculate. Todd Gurley. Uh, 76 and 99. I was super happy I added this to my collection. I, I always thought Todd Gurley was going to get into the Hall of Fame, no doubt. And then he kind of like just fell off the face of the earth um, after he left the Rams. So uh, hoping he can you know find a team. I don't know if he retired or not, but he had a, he had a great career. I was hoping he could uh, continue, but I didn't have any of his autographs. So I finally, finally picked one up for, you know, I thought a decent price. And then I did get some graded cards. So, um... I got three. This is a CD Lamb blue die cut prism. Got a 9 5 from Select. It's a nice color match with the, the Cowboys, so I like that. SGC. Next one up, Mac Jones. Uh, this is from Chronicles Draft Picks, obviously. This is the Optic uh, Preview uh, rated rookie orange prism. Not bad. It, it also got a 9 5. So. Happy about that. And then last but not least, how about a gold no huddle prism from Chandler Jones uh, from Mosaic. It's got a 9.5. And it is numbered uh, 7 of 10. 7 out of 10. Uh, so, I mean, overall, I think I did pretty well. They did send me a couple, like, kind of loose packs just to open up, I guess. I, I, I ripped them open. It was Turn Back the Clock 2008. Matt Ryan was pretty much the uh, the highlight from there. And then I got these Sport Kings gum packs. Collect all the mini cards they said. I mean, I don't know if these are worth anything at all. It was They were produced in 2018, so I, I, I doubt it. It's kind of like a throwback on what Sports Kings used to look like back in like the 1930s. I know football had them, so. And then I got some wrestling packs from like 1991. Um, yeah, just kind of funny to look through some of these... Uh, Doom and <laughs> Fabulous Freebirds. Uh, I know Mr. Wall Street. I got Sting and then a couple of Ric Flairs. Pretty, pretty cool cards and a Missy Hyatt. So, yeah, that was just, I don't know, it was kind of fun to just rip some packs at the end of it when I was going through my mail day. But, um, yeah, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for thanks for checking out the video. Uh, again, in, in the comments, let me know what you thought about the, uh, the value of all those cards I got from... Uh, from whatnot, I think I think I I think I made my money back if I were to you know try to turn them all and flip them right now. But I'm obviously going to hold most of them. Um, so yeah, let me know, uh, guys. Keep an eye on eBay as well. Keep an eye on my uh, my eBay. We have a bunch of breaks coming up uh, this Sunday, um, and then again next uh, the Sunday after that we got uh, some more mosaic baseball. We have a football mixer coming up. So uh, excited for all those. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. It'll be fun. Uh, check out the Instagram and um, got posts from that last mosaic break, which was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So, uh, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment if I made that value back or not. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.